Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the middle of a series, it's a new series that we've started. And in this series, we're talking about the five special types of people to surround yourself with if you are interested in your success and in your growth. We know for a fact that if you remove relationships and communication and connections and social well-being, okay, social, the social structure of humanity, you've killed humanity. We thrive basically on our social connections. It goes without saying. And therefore, we've got to be a bit of intentional about the kinds of people that we want to surround ourselves with, the people that we want to be in their circles and the people that we want to be in our circles. We've got to be intentional about that. That's what we are talking about in this new series. I want us to just uh, create some kind of platform and foundation if we are to do this well, so that even as we are discussing those five types of people later on, and probably there are much more, but uh, these five are critical, the foundation will already serve us. So listen to this. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like no content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. And that concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. You can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy. I want to start by thanking you so much for taking some time to check out these episodes on Live Signatures Radio. I don't take it for granted that uh, 
in the midst of a life of distractions we feel with very many things that are capturing our attention it is very encouraging that you will stop by and you will listen to this episode and not only will you listen but you subscribe to this channel and also to send it to your groups your friends your loved ones and all around your social media channels i really do appreciate that i have said this because honestly i have seen a very huge spike over the past one or two months in terms of the listenership of these episodes and so i don't take it for granted so let us do this we're talking about the five special types of people that you need to surround yourselves with we need to surround, surround ourselves with if we are to be successful and if we are to grow before we can go further let us just note that success and growth are not automatic they are not um people normally say organic and so on but they are not automatic you don't you don't wake up and you become successful in fact the most automatic thing in life is to drift from being good it is to lay back sit back and just deteriorate entropy is the most automatic thing in life whether you are a human being whether you're a living thing or not entropy wasting away is the most automatic thing you don't need to do nothing to waste away and therefore there isn't that kind of thing called stagnation in life you either are growing or you are deteriorating it goes without saying but we are human beings and uh, there are different types of people that we need to align our environment and uh, you know make sure that that environment has those kinds of people around either we are in those people's environments or those people are in our environments that is absolutely critical i read a quote attributed to the great henry ford he said something to this effect that you can take my factories burn up my buildings but give me my people and i will build my businesses right up again this man knew exactly what he was talking about building what he built he knows that human resource was the most important thing but let me not just even call it human resource because when you say human resource we have already categorized and compartmentalized it is just humanity it is pure humanity it is pure human beings doing what they were meant to do socializing one another with another doing life together that's it we do life together we cross pollinate one another i am a sum total of the kinds of people and the kinds of environments that i've grown up in in fact sometimes when i see people talking about large sums of money i squirm from one side to another as if i don't deserve it as if i don't want you know why because the environment in which i grew up with and i grew up in stifled that thing money was looked at as if it is a sin and it is evil you as kids were not required and even encouraged to get money they would think that if you expose money to these kids they're going to become thieves my point before i go very far is that we cross pollinate one another my kids are going to grow commensurate to the kinds of exposures the kinds of connections the kinds of environment that i'm going to you know release them too and in this day and in this age it is good because we can have virtual environments as well as we can have physical environments and both are critical so clearly people are important even to henry ford life is structured in such a way that we need each other i, I told you in the previous episodes we've invented the most sinister punishment ever do you know what it is it is not killing and sowing people into two and so on because those ones is just dead instantly but we've invented solitary confinement you don't wish that even to your worst enemy where i put you in a room and i just put light throughout 24/7 you don't know when it's day it's tuesday it's wednesday you don't know you've no clue you don't know if it's in the morning or it's in the afternoon you don't know or I put darkness in there it's the same thing it is the most sinister thing i cut you off of con- connection with people i cut you off of sense of time i have killed you you're going to get bonkers you're going to go bonkers you're going to lose your bearings you're going to lose your mind humans were 
hardly wired, strongly connected emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically to connect one with another. No human being can make it on their own. No one can make it in life alone. No, no one. There is no one who has ever done that. The so-called self-made people, never. You cannot self-make. You can't. You are a human being. Adam tried, the first man. He tried, he couldn't. He needed a help meet. He was alone, but you know, he needed something. He needed someone. He had everything. He had everything. He could say he was okay, he was own self made. He was God made. Imagine God made and self made, but the God made still needed someone. How about you? T- telling us that you are self-made. <laughs> no one can make it alone in life. Everything around us is made possible by someone else. The microphone I'm using, the phones I'm using, the laptop I'm using, the tables I'm sitting on. I don't, I'm not a carpenter, I'm not, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a plumber, I'm not a builder. But I enjoy all those things. That one should just send us home. I mean, it's, it's, so, it's already sorted. I, I don't weave cloth. I don't weave cotton. Oh my goodness. I am not my own teacher. I didn't wake up learning, uh, knowing how to speak English. Knowing how to speak in the first place. How would I have known to speak without other people? My point, and I'm, I don't know why I'm belaboring it, is just you and I, we need each other. We need connections. That being said, I need to look as uh, different types of people that you know we will need to put in 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 our lives so that these people can celebrate us, so that people can cross pollinate us, so that people these people can motivate us, these people can encourage us, these people can show us a different way of doing things, these people can open doors for us, these people can make connections for us that we never would have made in a thousand years. These people would open up passions for us that we will never have gotten those passions. Some of the things that I'm so passionate about in this episode, you if you listen to me, I'm passionate about leadership, passionate about people, it is not because I was born that way. Partly I was born that way, but a great extent is because I was cross-pollinated with people. I can mention some people like there's a man called Donald Martini. He was my pastor at Nairobi Lighthouse Church for I don't know how many years, for 10 years plus. I am telling you very many things that I have done. The person I have become, it is more than 60% attributed to Donald Martini. A man who probably doesn't know me eye to eye, doesn't know who I am, basically. But he was a leader who led me. We need each other. I can never overemphasize that. We are going to continue cross-pollinating this uh, episodes and talking about these thoughts even as we continue in tomorrow's episode i don't want to take a lot of your time once again thank you so much for listening to these episodes and if you enjoy this if you know for sure that what you've just heard is something that is cross-pollinating you it's, it's making you to grow it's impacting you it's motivating you it's inspiring you you like the sound of it it makes you to think it makes you to grow it 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 uh, raises your standards one way or another if you know one of those things happening to you as you're listening to these episodes do me a favor please subscribe because this episode this this podcast is daily don't miss a, a, a single episode and not only do you do, do you subscribe but also share this information with as many people in your circles as possible because we want to reach as many people as possible my target is to cross pollinate five million people enabling them to know own and deploy their purpose in this life. Well, until tomorrow, I wish you all the success that you're willing to work for. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.